Hey folks, Ira here. I hope you've had a great Saturday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is May the 7th, 2016. It was on this day in 1987 when a 7.9 struck Alaska. This earthquake generated a tsunami with observed wave heights over 5.7 feet. The tsunami affected multiple locations, including the coast of Washington. This earthquake comes in at number 10 on the list of the top 20 most powerful earthquakes to strike the United States. Today is known as Birth Mothers and National Tourism Day. Oh, oh okay. All right, earthquake report time. Here we go. Finally, we begin to see earthquake activity return to somewhat normal levels today. We've registered five earthquakes that fell within the magnitude 5 scale. Mexico with a 5.5 and a 5.0 that struck just off the coast. Fiji with a 5.2. Tonga with a 5.1 and a 4.8. Papua New Guinea with a 5. Japan with a 5.2. And the Central Mid-Atlantic Ridge with a 5.1. We have experienced 17 magnitude 4 earthquakes, all of which fell along the Ring of Fire with an exception of a 4.7 that struck the North Indian Ocean and a 4.9 that struck Yemen. The West Coast clocked in a 4.3 today. This struck just 182 miles from Washington. This is also 40 miles from the hydrothermal vent system of the Endeavor Ridge. Interesting. Speaking of Washington, news reports are just now coming out, speaking to the earthquake swarm centered in Washington and specifically around Mount St. Helens, the same earthquakes that we identified going back as far as mid-March. Fortunately, there are no signs that the stratovolcano will erupt or that magma is inflating, although it is very interesting that reports of rumbling can be heard. Hmm. By the way, that is one amazingly beautiful volcano. Wow. If you look at the states, we see that Hawaii has 12 on the books. This is a substantial increase over what we have experienced each day this week, and it is a 33% increase over yesterday's quakes. The strongest to strike the Aloha State today was a 2.9 at the volcano. Alaska has experienced 27 earthquakes thus far, the strongest being a 4.2. Washington has 10 on the books, Eatonville and Packwood each receiving 2, and Amboy with 3. The strongest the hit was only a 1.5. Oregon has been quiet. Only three have been experienced, but this time around, none of which had an epicenter near Lakeview. We had a 2.1 hit off the coast of Gold Beach, a 2.1 in Sheridan, and a 0.8 just 15 miles from the West Crater Lava Dome in Cascade Locks. California has clocked in only 65. The strongest hit was a 2.3 in Ocella. This area has experienced 10 earthquakes in total, just too shy from exceeding that of the typical swarm locations like the geysers. Hmm. Nevada has been fairly calm today. Thus far, we have experienced 23, with the most intense being a 2.4. Currently, the data is trending that we'll see activities return to normal levels within the next few days. Let's see what happens, shall we? Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming have been quiet. I checked the seismograph station data, care of the University of Utah for discrepancies, and found that they haven't reported any activity since Thursday. Interesting. Finally, Oklahoma has seen only one earthquake today. This was a 2.8 in O'Keene. The East Coast, along with the New Madrid seismic zone, have been quiet. No earthquakes to report at this time. And that is it for the earthquake report. If you experienced a quake today, or if you'd simply like to chat, please post down below. I'd like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe, share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a frightening video taken during the 7.8 earthquake that struck on April the 16th. It's horrifying, guys. Stay safe. Have a great night. Hoorah!